Let's talk about how Uber and Lyft will cut up front fares when the trip is short, but they don't do the same when the trip lo runs long. What's going yeah, on there, honest Sergio? To God, honest to God, I'm working on this, Chris. Honest to God, I'm working on this. This is the first one, the second one. Um, this is the first screenshot that you showed on the algorithmic wage discrimination. Oh, my bad. Ah. No problem. <laughs> okay, so we've done this a million times. Uber and Lyft know about this. I'm serious. I, I, it's especially with Lyft. I'm seriously working on this, okay? Th this is going to be done this year. If nothing else, in 2024, this this is going to change, at least on Lyft. On Uber, Uber is like fucking... <laughs> yeah, Uber, <laughs> okay? Actually, tomorrow, we're going to talk about this. You know who you are. Um, so, okay, I have, I have this problem with all these companies, okay? If... Look at the screenshot on the left. One from Uber, one from Lyft. Estimate came in 22 minutes, 7.16 miles. It lasted 17 minutes and 6.28 miles. So less than a mile less and five minutes less. Upfront was 1012. It dropped to 666, the number of the devil. Okay? Lyft. That's a 35% haircut lift. No, no, that's what? an edge case. What? That's an edge case. Oh, don't trigger me now, bro. Don't trigger me now, bro. <laughs> I got to trigger okay. you so that we can go edge really. Case, edge case times a million drivers times once a day. Bullshit edge case. You know who you mm -hmm. are there. So that's that. Okay. Second trip in the middle. Well, actually, no. Let's go to look at Ubers. Ubers uh, came in at 10. What is it? It's too dark. 1058. And, and they um, hammered it. Yeah. 1058 or something like that. Uh, yeah. The, the upfront price was 1058. Yep. Okay, 1058, they cut it 15% to 914. And the, the problem with Uber, at least on Lyft, you know, God bless Lyft with transparency. Those two boxes, right? Undeniable. They put it on the left, they estimated the actual on the right. You know what happened there. On Uber, they'll just go, oh, the fare has been reduced because the drop off has changed. And on this one, the drop off change happened, Uber, because the passenger put the wrong terminal. What is the driver supposed to do? Drop the passenger off at the terminal and keep driving? Then do you accuse him of, like, extending the trip somehow? Something will happen there, okay? Bullshit. <laughs> now, the one in the middle is where things are going to get fixed. Here's a black SUV trip. I'm sure all of you are going to say, what the hell are you complaining about, Serge? $104.25. That's not the point. The trip came in at 59 minutes and 41.9 miles, okay? The trip lasted an hour and 24. That's 25 extra minutes. Lift. Why is my 25 minutes not worth to you? Anything. And, of course, the upfront did not change. And this driver went to the black hole and asked for a fare adjustment, and he didn't get any. So when the trip gets a little shorter, just a little bit, the hammer is out by 30, 35, 40% in Uber's case, 15, in this case, 35 when the trip goes literally 25 more minutes than the estimate, almost 50% longer, no adjustment. No. This I don't know bullshit. about you, but I think I think that's significantly longer. Obviously not. Clearly. Clearly. What would I know? I'm just a driver. No, you know, but that's bullshit. So I'm seriously, we're going to fix this this year. By the end of 2024, this will be fixed on Lyft, Uber. We're gonna we're gonna keep butting heads for probably another month, uh, and then they'll figure it out. Because it it is unconscionable that I have to drive, spend twenty five minutes of my life with a passenger in the car longer than your estimate, which sucked. How's that my fault, Lyft? I just accepted the trip on face, meaning fifty nine minutes and forty two miles for one hundred and four bucks. Done. If you showed me that trip at an hour and 24 minutes, not a goddamn chance in hell I probably would accept that. You know what I'm saying? Transparency. Yep. You guys want to be all, you're all, you're all transparent with that 70, 30, focus, focus. Be transparent <laughs> with this. That's it. Oh, yeah. 64% of that going right to external yeah, fees. You, 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 you have that etched in your brain. <laughs> oh, well, I, I literally just can't. I literally just saw that. Probably about an hour before the show started, so I'm like, "Oh, I got to put that on X," and uh, we'll we'll probably post that on next week's show because uh, it was real. Like, I mean, like I said, I just came, but yeah, I mean, something like that. It's now you're getting wild because 
when you bring it down to what the, the driver actually made on that, I think it was like forty dollars for the ride. He made like fifteen dollars or sixteen dollars or something like that. Yeah. yeah. The, and the majority of it was this external expense. Please. Who knows what that is? Um, yeah. Well, mostly, mostly, I'm told it's commercial insurance. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I don't so know. Daniel Rivas is my man in Ventura County. He's an MBA student. He's smart as shit. By any measure, it's... these trips that are TNCs failing to adjust for are, uh, uh, yeah. I'm sure that if this were based on distance, for, hmm? see, he says shit like this. I we, I don't even understand. He's way too smart. No, I, I agree with you, Daniel. <laughs> Yeah, so Daniel is the man. Yep. He's my one of my eyes and ears in Ventura County. Up uh, See, the, the uh, reason why they use terms like significant and that is because instead of them actually defining what it means, like oh, if we we were going to go uh, a, a quarter of a mile over or under, uh, or thirty minutes. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry, uh, like five minutes over or under. Either way, and then it would be changed. No, it, it's o- so open ended that it's like okay, if your three mailboxes short. We're cutting 12%. 30%. Yeah. And that type of thing. But if you go 500 mailboxes down the road because our, our app sucks and, you know, it, we, were, we weren't able to get at the right spot, well, then too bad, so too sad. Bad. Too bad, too sad. Oh. Okay, we, we take it back. I take it back. Apologies. Daniel, he's a PhD student, not an MBA student. He finished his MBA probably long. Oh. <laughs> Daniel is the, I'm telling you, he's smarter than shit, bro um so anyway yeah uh lyft uh we know who we are we're, we're gonna fix that uh, uber we definitely need to fix that you guys are the <laughs> big gorilla in the room i mean if you're gonna hammer the driver by cutting the fare you need to do the same the other way around period so, mm-hmm. so, yeah yep all right thanks for watching that short little clip was from our live stream show me the money club with sergio and myself Tuesdays, 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific. Make sure you subscribe, turn on all notifications so you'll be notified when we go live, as well as all of our awesome content. Make sure to check out this video right here, which will take you to the entire live stream, or check out this video right there. All right, drive smart, everyone.